In this video today, I'll be showing you how to draw the basic uh, proportions of a female figure. To start out with, I have drawn the head and then I've measured out seven and a half lengths of the head. Um, because that is the sort of rough, rough average of the general population as it relates to height. So after that, um, and keep in mind, none of these lines are very accurate. I totally was just kind of guesstimating where they were. So uh, when you draw your own, <laughs> you could take better measurements if you want. Um, so bringing down with the rest of the body, we have the neck. Then we come out to the shoulders. On a male figure, the shoulders tend to be about two heads wide. And a male figure is sort of triangular with uh, wide shoulders and then coming down to a narrower waist. But a female figure is about one and a half heads wide at the shoulders and then an hourglass shape where you have about two and a half heads, not two and a half, two heads wide at the waist. Um, so here I'm just totally estimating again. I don't know if that's one and a half heads, but it looks good enough. You can kind of come down, show where the rib cage is. Of course, remember, every female figure is very, very different, and it's, and it's difficult uh, to put a hard, fast rule on anything. I think especially female figures change greatly, because they change so much with age as well. Um, and I think in a lot of cartoons, they like to very much exaggerate, make girls, like, insanely skinny, but, you know, girls do have rib cages, <laughs> and sometimes it's good to draw them. Um, here with the legs, we want the ankle to fall about the seven headline. And so the knees will be the midpoint between the fourth line and that to be about right here. And then the legs just come down. Once again, knowing the anatomy that's happening, happening underneath here, kind of the bone structure and muscles and everything really helps with drawing human figures, because human figures are insanely difficult. Um, and I'm rushing through this so quickly, so forgive the many <laughs> issues. Just hopefully some of it will help. But if you have a chance, like get a good anatomy book or take a class or something, because as always, that will help immensely. But hopefully this will give you some kind of a basic idea. Then with the arms, the hands will extend about mid-thigh. And the elbows will be about the high waist. And there you have it, the very, very basic um, female proportions. Um, they, so there are, there are differences between the, the guys and the girls, and if you want to really exaggerate that, uh, if you're drawing kind of more cartoonish, um, that'll really differentiate the difference, is just, you know, bringing in the waist, or making uh, the girl more petite, and 
you know, smaller wrists and ankles and, and everything. There's a lot you can exaggerate to really show the difference between men and women if you're having difficulty kind of differentiating with that. Um, but I hope some of this video helped and have fun drawing.